So you already know the Google Ads algorithm changes very frequently and staying on top of the latest changes with Google Ads gives you the advantage over your competitors and is supposed to help you massively increase your return on ad spend. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest Google Ads changes that you absolutely need to be aware of and take advantage of while these changes are fairly new. But let's start off with the first change, which not surprisingly is related to artificial intelligence, also known as AI. And you'll be surprised to find out that Google is actually taking a big step forward towards bringing AI improvements to really take Google Ads campaigns to the next level. And what I'm referring to is these specific changes right here. If you follow Google's updates very closely, you will already be aware that Google actually held something called the Google Marketing Live of 2023, which is basically this massive event where a bunch of smart people come together and converge and just talk about the overall development of Google. And this is also where Google Ads introduces big changes first. So first things first, in terms of of how the campaigns are going to be performing. Google has now introduced something called a power pairing. So if we read right here in the first line, it says the AI powered search campaigns and performance max campaigns are the ads power pairing to help you find untapped demand and drive incremental results from new search queries, which essentially what that means is running search campaigns along with performance max campaigns. Both of these campaign types will now work together with Google's new and improved system to help improve the overall experience the people searching for your products have. Then in fact, what Google is also doing now, it's building an overall better system for even creating those search campaigns in the first place. I mean, if you look right over here, you can see how this new kind of layout will look like. And the main reason why they're even doing this is so that you can basically quote, have a natural language conversation with Google ads to help you create keywords and assets that drive better search ad performance, which essentially means now the algorithm will directly be working with you so that you can actually go out and create better search ads. And this is all done to basically deliver new ad experiences with something called generative AI. And this little GIF image here is a perfect example. We can see it basically scrolls down and here you can do actual follow-ups with this generative AI, you can talk to it. For example, they searched up hiking backpacks and this generative AI basically suggested some hiking backpacks and a lot of other things that you would want to see with a simple search. So in addition to that, as you can see right here, it says show more relevant ads with improved automatically created assets. This is sort of another update, which I'm already seeing a lot of e-commerce brands I'm auditing already have this enabled. Personally, I don't really think this is a good idea. And in fact, you should stay 10 feet away from it, but that's just me. I don't like giving control over to the algorithm. I mean, that's why I'm here. In addition to that, another big update, which I think is going to be really beneficial for those people who always keep crying about how brand search campaign results are really not real. And what Google is doing is it's expanding the reach of the brand campaigns, meaning the brand search campaigns with new brand restrictions for broad match, which in the past, expanding it to a broad audience would mean that your ROAS just takes a dive downwards. Now with this update, there are certain brand restrictions which basically help you get the additional reach of broad match while ensuring, as it says here, it is only matching to relevant brand traffic that you have specified. So as you can see, you'll be able to enable the new broad match campaign level settings within the campaign itself under brand restrictions. And this will be how the brand restrictions look like. So if there are certain keywords related to your brand, which you absolutely do not rank for, now you can add those under the brand restrictions section right over here. And you can even tell it if you want to do broad match keywords or or not. So this will make it really easy for you to differentiate those campaigns, specifically search campaigns, which are targeting only your branded keywords versus those that are just for cold traffic. But now moving on to the next update, it's basically more improvement to smart bidding. Obviously, you know, like they even say here, smart bidding is something that's always been a work in progress. It has never really kind of found the perfect balance after the previous smart shopping campaigns were completely removed from Google Ads. But now they have kind of started to add more and more improvements where they 
state basically that smart bidding will actually optimize more intelligently for search queries instead of just relying on past data to drive future the data or future sales the smart bidding algorithm will now be going in and taking more of an initiative to now actually go and find better people even if it has little to no data to begin with so this is really a game changer for those newer ad accounts which are looking to expand onto performance max now you can do it much earlier without having to spend a thousand dollars five thousand dollars on normal standard shopping campaign the one thing that google has actually introduced with this update is actually a new conversion goal completely and this is called the new customer value mode because the old goal of new customer acquisition is now improved where now you can actually add certain values to them you can actually optimize for new customers predicted to deliver high lifetime value which means long term are these really that hot traffic or warm traffic people who will be engaged with your brand and will want to buy from you over and over again that's the main goal of high lifetime value in addition to that they're also introducing a new goal called re-engagement goal which is basically letting you engage with your previous customers and this will basically allow your pmax campaign to now fully turn into a remarketing campaign so you will now be able to launch performance max campaigns for only cold traffic and also a pmax campaign for just warm and hot traffic through this re-engagement goal there are some other things such as campaign pre-fill where it will fill up all of the information that is directly sourced from your website past campaigns and also google's ai predictions within your pmax directly so before you even launch it this will come into effect and it will already pre-fill a lot of this information for you which i don't really think you should be personally using because you don't want to give the algorithm too much control but this other update with pmax also does the same thing where it's gonna generate new and quote high quality assets obviously we know how high quality google can really be i mean it's a machine doing this so you can't really expect it to be fully high quality in addition to that now there's a new little trends explorer in ads creative studio where basically you can go into the latest search trends and also other types of data to further understand how your niche is how the product that you're trying to sell is what the search trend is for those keywords related to it in addition to that now you get to run different types of experiments with a performance max campaign like doing further a b testing there's also some improved search term insights on the insights page and as you know i'm a big believer of using the insights page directly within performance max because there's a lot of hidden data and value you can get from them in addition on the insights page now they're improving the performance performance insights and as you can see this kind of update has already rolled out but because we're looking inside of one of the pmax campaigns right now and there's newer things added such as when and where ad showed reports editor dashboard which at least on, as far as i can remember i do not recall having these columns right here before so google finally understands that as advertisers we need more access to the data so we can take our brand to the next level with proper insights but the third major changes that google has is really introducing is directly related to YouTube campaigns. I know with Google Ads, it's very common to just use shopping campaigns or just search campaigns, but YouTube campaigns need to be part of your arsenal if you want to scale your brand to the next level and now with google's new updates you are able to use ai powered tools to directly convert your creatives that you would be using for youtube ads into vertical videos as well for example this creative it, with the ai software with reformatting it was able to get turned into this beautiful looking video ad right here that will now run on shorts placement google is also introducing something called ai powered video campaigns which basically deploys the ads that you are running across connected tvs across desktops across mobile devices and basically there's a new type of video ad campaign called video action campaigns which can help you drive further sales with this ai powered video placement program which i personally thought was very unique and then finally there are some types of impacts on sustainability settings of the campaign performance where you get to forecast some kind of impact which gives you more transparency and feedback into how the suitability settings of your ads might impact your overall 
overall performance. So again, we're gonna kind of end up all of these changes with the biggest change of all, which lets you track all the data and let your campaigns use it. So this is the biggest change I personally believe will really take your campaigns to the next level where Google is focused on improving your measurement foundation to drive better sales for your brand. And essentially it's making it easier for you to manage your first party data by allowing you to seamlessly and securely connect data sources, translate data to insights and improve the overall accuracy of the measurement. So now whatever data sources we connect to Google ads, such as Google analytics, it will easily be able to transcribe that data and let Google ads itself use it. It's going to simplify how you're able to basically install enhanced conversions and activate the first party data by using something called customer match, which in simple words is basically a lookalike audience. But now you can also use those Google analytics for audiences directly with Google ads, which honestly to me is one of the biggest game changers because majority of us e-commerce store owners were already fed up with this new GA4 tracking. I mean, there was no reason for analytics to really change it, but that's besides the point. Now with this new update, we can actually create audiences directly via Google analytics for, and then let our Google ads account use it and get data from it. We can actually import fractional data driven conversion credits directly to Google ads. And to kind of explain this further, what this means is, for example, they have this example right here, where if a customer clicks on two search ads, a YouTube ad and a newsletter before purchasing partial credits for the ads will be imported into Google ads regardless of the final touch point. So just because somebody purchased from a newsletter does not mean that the newsletter will get 100% of that conversion. Now, there will be some partial credits given to those two search ads and given to YouTube itself. This makes tracking so much more accurate. I mean, now you will know if it's really your ad that's working or if it was Facebook ad that converted or if it was the email that you sent last night that really made the people convert. In addition to that, you can also use offline conversion adjustments. Really, this is for you if you run like an offline store that kind of brings us to the end of the list of all of the interesting changes let's cover the main important thing of what all of this really means to you this is the time you need to start focusing on building a strong foundation there has been no other time previously in the history of Google ads where a right foundation has been so crucial. And when I say foundation, I'm referring to things such as the search engine optimization for your product titles or your product descriptions, having the right images compared to your competitors, having the right types of prizes and also the right types of Google merchant center programs. Without this, the AI and the algorithm itself will not be able to get you more sales and will not be able to understand your overall funnel. So you really need to be able to tell Google ads that, hey, this is my kind of person. This is who I want you to go out and find. And all of the things in your foundation will help you do exactly that. And of course, you need to add some other things that make ads successful, such as proper copywriting, such as having a right landing page, so on and so forth. Because again, the algorithm will now be depending more on these things to find you your ideal customer. And also, you need to be adding more search campaigns, display campaigns, discovery, YouTube, so on and so forth because you need to have all campaign types bringing in data to make your ad account smarter and to give the algorithm enough direction it needs to help you scale to the next level. If you're doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen. But I want you to watch this video right here on how to hack the Google ads algorithm and basically quadruple or triple your ROAS at the minimum with proper technique.